And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this uh, Saturday edition of New Distributor Training. My name's Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with Isogenics 2.0 and uh, excited about today's training. Um, actually, uh, I wanna first you know, welcome all of you who are joining this morning and also welcome to those of you that are on the uh, replay. You went to the uh, YouTube channel and uh, picked up the, uh, the recorded broadcast. Uh, a lot of you are doing that. I, I think we're probably, uh, I don't know, maybe 70, 80% sometimes uh, of you view the broadcast after the, uh, the broadcast, and that's great. Although there is an advantage to being uh, able to join us live is you get to be part of the question and answer session. Uh, hopefully we'll get questions today that might've been one of the questions you were asking or intended to ask if you were on the, uh, on the replay. Um, today's kind of a very special day. And for those of you that are, uh, you know, on my mailing list, or maybe you follow me on Facebook, uh, you, you saw the, uh, the notice, the posting on uh, today's training. Uh, it's time for a 90-day game plan. And, uh, and I want to talk about that because uh, this is a very unique time, both in the history of ZG International, uh, the company that I've personally been with now for over 12 years, uh, and Isogenics, a uh, company has been in business now approaching two decades, uh, you know, seven, eight billion dollars in cumulative sales over that time. And they're entering into a very, very special time in, in their and now our history, uh, if you will, uh, Isogenics 2.0, the second uh, iteration of the company. And it's an exciting time for both of us, those of us that are transitioning to Isogenics and the people that have been part of Isogenics for a long time in that it's an opportunity, if you will, to be part of the next generation, to be in before the masses, to, to be part of something, the creation of something that'll be very, very significant in the uh, history of network marketing. And so uh, welcome to all of you today that are here because you represent the, the leading edge of what's going to be happening over the next you know, three, six, eight, 10 years uh, with our respective companies. Now, the, uh, the concept of a 90 day game plan, I'm gonna be talking about that, uh, but I want you to be aware, and especially for those of you that have been regular attendees, uh, you've been here, you know, for the last, you know, 90 plus days, every Saturday morning, picking up a little bit here and picking up a little bit there. Uh, this has all been in preparation, if you will, for today, for today's training. Uh, over the last 90 days, you've had an opportunity to, to, uh, to hear, you know, both for myself and other, other uh, leaders. Uh, we talked about several different topics. We talked about the fundamentals of our marketing system. Uh, our marketing system, how we share our products, how we create leverage in our business. Uh, we talked about specific areas that a new distributor or all distributor wants to focus on uh, because it's so easy to be distracted uh, by you know, all the little bells and whistles and all the little details and that sort of thing. And the fact of the matter is our marketing system, our business, how we create long-term residual income, and for many people, extremely significant income. Um, the, the things that we do are very simple, okay? There's really not a lot to this. Uh, you know, if you wanted to really elaborate on what it is we do, there's maybe five or six things that we do that will make, you know, 80 or 90% of the difference in your business. And when you see the kinds of income the people make in our profession, you know, all I can tell you is, you know, if you can make 80 or 90% of what some of these folks are making, it would be a fortune. And so there really isn't that much to it. We talked about, uh, you know, the not so much goal setting, but the reason for goals. What was the purpose of establishing goals? Uh, we had a specific training on how to get started, specific, step by step by step. How do you know you as a brand new distributor get started? How do you get your brand new distributors started so they get off to a good start and get into profitability right away? We talked about what every single successful distributor needs to know. Because again, there's a multitude of information out there. And you know, frankly, 80 or 90% of it has nothing to do with creating success. Uh, you know, I come from a background, uh, you know, I was a cross-country truck driver. Some of you know my story, you know, 35 plus years ago, I was a cross-country truck driver. 
uh, you know, did well, what I thought was well. Um, I was looking for a way uh, to change my life to because of what life had done. I was blessed with a with, a, with my first son, a special needs child, and I needed to find a way to create the financial abundance that was going to be necessary to meet his educational needs and to have the time freedom uh, to be with him as he was growing up, because that was going to be one of the most important factors. And so I needed a lot more money than a truck driver makes, and I need a lot more time freedom than a truck driver has. And the, this, this profession and network marketing was the only place that I could achieve that. And it's been a, you know, an incredible journey. I was able to fulfill on my promises to my son to provide the educational resources he needed and to have the time freedom to be with him. It was kind of interesting because he's grown up now. Uh, my son just turned 40, uh, which makes me 106 years old now, I think. Um, and his whole life has been about uh, creating abundance in, in the form of financial resources, but flexibility and time freedom in his life because he knows no other way. See, he thought that was normal to be able to have, you know, the, the luxuries that we had while he was growing up and for me to be there all the time. And that's his focus now because he doesn't know any other way. Whereas most children grow up with, you know, one or both parents working all the time and struggling to make ends meet and, you know, hearing, you know, we can't afford that all the time. My son didn't get raised that way. He doesn't understand that concept. And because of that, he's, you know, creating the life that he desires. So we talked about, you know, what every new distributor needs to know. And again, there's so much out there that you can devote your time to learning, mastering, what have you, that will make absolutely no difference in your, you know, the results of your business. Uh, we talked about a new distributor checklist to kind of fine tune exactly, you know, one, two, three, what do your new distributors need to know? What do they need to do? Uh, most recently, we talked about, uh, just last week, I believe it was, we had a session on the secrets of the million dollar earners in our profession. And the exciting thing is, none of it's a secret. You talk to people that have achieved high levels of success in our profession, it has been predominantly because they were willing to share that information with others and support others as they build the process. So today, uh, I wanna take all of that. And, and again, if, if you, missed any of those sessions, if any of what I've been sharing with you is, uh, is intriguing to you, that you, you want to get that information, uh, go to the YouTube channel. Uh, it's, um, uh, actually, I'll put it into the uh, little chat box right now. Uh, let's see. The good friend is, <laughs> good morning, Isaac. My, my dear friend Isaac said I look pretty good for 160 years old. Uh, dude, I'm telling you what. I'm 65. I'll be 66 here in a few weeks. Okay. And I make this whole thing look good. This aging senior citizen thing, I'm making it look good. So uh, just saying, all right. Uh, thank you, Isaac. Uh, let's see. This is my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash uh, Fred Holmes uh, Zija. We're going to be changing the. Uh, um, the um the 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 url for that because it says fred holmes zija in a few weeks it's going to be fred holmes isogenics or whatever my guy is going to turn it into uh but that's the youtube channel uh if you're on a mobile device you can uh, just tap your little screen there and you'll see the little chat bubble and hit that and you'll see it those of you on your computer just you know hit the chat bubble and you'll see the address but again it's youtube.com forward slash fred holmes zija z-i-j-a um, that's where all of the, uh, the, the broadcasts that, you know, myself that I'm personally responsible for, uh, your, my Thursday night, uh, business presentations are archived there. Uh, Saturday morning distributor trainings are archived there. Um, that's where you'll find, you know, just go back through the, uh, the history and you'll see the different topics. If there's something you, you want to catch back up on, uh, and I encourage you to do so. Okay. Uh, not just because I did it, you know, I've had other trainers join me and that sort of thing, but there's some really good information there and it has nothing to do with me being particularly special and knowledgeable. I've just been around a long time. You know, there's advantages to, 
to, to getting older. Well, a couple, not a lot, but there's a couple. And one of them is you, you, you get a chance to experience an awful lot. And that's what I've tried to do in those uh, broadcasts is to share some of the knowledge and experience, hopefully, so you don't have to spend 35 years learning how to do this. Now, uh, today's training is going to focus on a 90-day game plan. Now, the 90-day game plan, this is one of those fundamental concepts uh, that has been part of network marketing since the origins of network marketing. Okay, I actually heard Jim Rohn, who uh, Abundavita was his first company. He joined Abundavita at the very same time that Larry Thompson did. Uh, for those of you not familiar with that name, Larry Thompson's the fellow that created the, the legacy company Herbalife. Okay, and they joined at the same time. Um, the, 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 some of those basic concepts came out of that, and one of these was. Uh, it was later called the 90-day game plan, but originally it was just simply referred to as establishing momentum. Now, the concept of momentum in our type of business is so important. Now, we, we understand this, you know, from sports or, you know, maybe the stock market or, you know, different kinds of things. But in our type of business, momentum is an incredibly powerful, powerful tool. It almost takes on a life of its own. In the beginning, uh, it's difficult to establish momentum in your business. I'm not going to tell you it isn't because it is. It's difficult to establish momentum in your business. Um, it takes, I've heard this analogy, it takes 10 parts of energy in the beginning to create one part of momentum in your business. Um, I use an analogy that, that is comfortable for me. It's driving trucks. Um, at one point in time, I was driving a, um, uh, 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 actually was a cab over um, uh, Kenworth, uh, had a four and five transmission, four and five, basically 20 gears. Now, I would end up using, you know, half of those gears just to get to, you know, geez, 20, 25 miles an hour. I mean, that's shifting a lot of gears just to get to a pace where, you know, is, is barely above running speed, right? Now, I'd use, uh, you know, another, almost all those gears to get up to 50 miles an hour. Now that last 20 miles an hour from 50 to 70 only took a couple of years. That's a great example of how in the beginning, you're gonna have to do a lot of work to establish momentum. But once I got the truck going, I might have to shift through a whole bunch of gears just to get up to, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour. And then from, you know, 20 to 50 was a little bit easier, but I still was having to really crank through the gears. But once I got it up and running, it only took a couple, two or three gears to make that difference from, you know, 50 miles an hour to freeway speed. Okay, some of you are going, I thought trucks couldn't go over 55. They can't, and I never did. Okay, write that down. Now, <laughs> uh, and I never got a speeding ticket in a truck, right? <laughs> write that down too. Now, um, this whole concept of momentum is so important because once you establish momentum, once you learn the, you know, the techniques, the strategies, the activities, uh, that are required to establish momentum, you can eventually get to a point where you're maintaining or sustaining your momentum. And, and essentially, that's where you're putting in one part of energy to sustain one part of momentum. Now, here's the real trick. If you do that long enough, you'll eventually get into a point in time where you have advanced your momentum to where you no longer have to be putting in, you know, that 10 to one ratio, you know, 10 parts of energy for one part of momentum, or the one to one ratio, one part of energy for one part of momentum, you'll eventually get into that coveted position of true residual income, where you can sustain 10 parts of momentum with one part of energy. And folks, it doesn't take that long. But it is so important that you need to understand this concept of how to first advance or, or establish momentum, number two, sustain your momentum, and then number three, 
ad, uh, uh, establish, sustain, then advance, okay? Because it's in that last stage that the magic happens. And it's kind of a metaphor for everything we do in, in network marketing. Um, I talked about this in a recent broadcast. A friend of mine, you know, put some paper, you know, pencil of paper, did some numbers, and he identified, you know, 80% of the people that start a network marketing business don't complete their first year. Okay, why? Because it was not easy. That's why. Uh, he then identified that of the of the percentage that was left over, 80% of them didn't complete their second year. Why? Because it wasn't that much easier. But what he did identify is the people that continued into the third year, all of the money that's available in our profession was left over to the people that were willing to stick it out, to stick through that process, to build the momentum. And while that may seem like a long time, I want you to think about this. How long, and, and this is self-analysis, okay? For each one of you, whether you're relatively young, you know, just getting started in your career, whether you're, you know, in the middle of your career, whether you're an old guy like me, uh, you know, how many years did it take you to get the education that was required for you to start in your career? Was it one year? Was it two years? Was it three years? I'm guessing it was 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 years of education. Now, once you entered your career, how long did it take you to hit a high level of income? Did you have the six figure job on day one? Did it take two years? Did it take three years? Think about this in terms of a lifetime. How long did it take you, you know, for those of your old guys like me and, and, you know, presumably you're now retired and living in, you know, the luxury, luxurious retirement that you planned. I'm saying that tongue in cheek and because most people don't. How long did it take you to prepare for your retirement? Was it one year? Was it two years? Was it three years? More likely, was it 20 years? Was it 30 years? Was it 40 years? Was it 50 years? And so what I'm sharing with you is this one little strategy can compress, you know, 40, 50 years of work into just a couple of years. And we've broken it down into the segments that are necessary to number one, establish momentum. Number two, sustain that momentum. And then number three, advance that momentum. And it's the concept of a 90 day game plan. Now, the, the whole process is pretty simple, okay? I'm sharing some of this with you in advance because I want you to, to not mistake how important it is what I'm going to say by how simple it is. Write this in your notes. Hopefully you've got your little journal going already. Um, the concept of a 90-day game plan is simply a one-day game plan times 90. Now, there's more to it than that. I'm going to try and illustrate that to you here in a moment. I'm going to get my uh, little whiteboard going. But the, uh, the, this concept of a 90-day game plan starts with the fact that it's a one-day game plan times 90 days. Now, what's your one-day game plan? We talk specifically about it um, in uh, uh, you know, one of our previous uh, uh, episodes within the last 90 days, uh, how to get off to a fast start. What are the things that we do in our business? Number one, we share our product. Number two, we share our business opportunity, our income opportunity. Number three, we teach others to do the same. That's what we do. And that's frankly, there are many other things we do as well, okay? But if you master those three things, you ain't have to worry about the other things, okay? There's five or six things that we do those three are 90% of the trick, okay? If you do that, then you won't ever have to worry about the rest, okay? Trust me on this, if you can learn that. Now, one day game plan. What would be my one day game plan? Especially for part-time people, since most people are part-time, me personally, I'm extremely part-time today, 
Some of you know that story. You know, when I had gone into retirement after 10 years in the profession, spent a number of years, you know, doing what most people wish they could do. You know, I worked if I wanted to, you know, I, you know, typically I, I you know, somebody come up with something that they were interested in having me do. It was interesting to me. I'd spend a year, they pay me a lot of money and then I quit and I take another year or two off, you know, go to the beach, ride my motorcycle, whatever. And did that for a number of years. I uh, got to raise my first grandbaby. Okay. That was really cool. In my mid forties, I was retired and I could devote six years to raising my first grandson. Most people would never have that opportunity. You know, what a blessing it was to be able to have the luxury of time, freedom, and financial resources to not worry about having to work. Um, 12, 13 years ago, it was time to come home and take care of mom. And it's always been a part-time home-based business for the last several years uh, because of mom's challenges. It's been very part-time and 100% home-based. 99.9% .9 of what I do is done just like this. Video conferencing, telephone conferencing, right here from my little office room with mom, uh, literally about, I'm gonna guess, you know, it's hard to measure, maybe, it's 10 yards, 15 feet, maybe 15 feet from where I'm sitting right now. And, and because of the financial resources, I have the ability to have people here helping me in the home. So even in the middle of my broadcast, I don't have to worry if mom needs something, there's somebody here to help her. So these are the advantages of focusing on these kinds of things, it's, you know, on a very part-time basis. What if you, your focus was those three things? Share this product, this incredible product we have to help people with their health, their wellness, their nutrition, lifestyle uh, with one person today. And share our income opportunity with one person today. Somebody who's looking for a way to create more income, have more time freedom in their life, or maybe just like life more, have more fun. And then once you have that one person, the third thing we do is teach them how to do the same thing, how to share the product, how to share the income opportunity, and how to teach others to do the same. It's a, just a simple process of duplication. Folks, if you, get it, if you try and complicate it up, you're gonna mess it up, okay? Don't make it any more complicated than that because it's not any more complicated than that. Now, this 90 day game plan revolves around our calendar you know the, the, the you know the yearly calendar but life revolves around the yearly calendar uh we understand the four seasons right uh we've got you know winter in the winter and that's followed by spring spring is the time that we you know plant you know we uh you know nurture our seeds uh the summer is when we grow things we continue to nurture the fields um, and here I'm talking about farmers, right? Uh, the fall, okay, that season is when we harvest. Winter, that's the season that if we did the first three seasons correctly, we get to sit back, enjoy, you know, make it through the winter months when there's not a lot of productivity so that we can start again in the spring, okay? Four seasons out of the year. Network marketing calendar also has its own ebbs and flows of productivity. Um, the, the network marketing calendar, uh, let's say starting the beginning of the year, you know, January uh, through March or so, that first quarter of the year uh, can be one of the most productive quarters of, your, of the network marketing calendar. In that season, people have just come out of the holidays, um, they, you know, they're, they're making those, you know, the, the first of the year, New Year's resolutions. There's nothing, nothing magical about January 1. It could be February 12th. It could be, you know, March 13th. It could be, you know, June 11th, whatever. The date on the calendar doesn't mean a thing, okay? It is the mental approach, people making decisions that, you know, this year, you know, we've closed the books on the old year, opening the books on the new year. This new year, we're not going to live the way we did last year, okay? We're gonna be healthier. We're going to have more income. We're gonna have more fun. You know, it's, it's a mental thing. 
that creates those New Year's resolutions. But because of that, we take advantage of that. And that can be the most productive time of the network marketing calendar. Historically, it always has. Now, it doesn't start exactly January 1. It usually starts somewhere in that second, third week of January, and it'll continue on, you know, through the end of March into the beginning of April. The second quarter of the network marketing calendar um, is where you, you essentially sustain momentum. Okay, you sustain momentum through the spring into the summer. Now, if you did things correctly, and we're going to talk about this a little bit more in a, in a, in a following episode um, of, of new distributor training, but if you did things correctly in the last quarter of the year to set yourself up with already established momentum, then that first quarter of the network marketing year, you know, approximately mid-January through mid-April, where you can literally, instead of using the most productive time of the year to establish momentum, you can use that to sustain momentum and then use the spring to advance momentum. Now, what is happening right now in our calendar? Okay, we are literally a day away from the beginning of June. And June represents the beginning of summer. Summer in the network marketing calendar tends to be a low pro productivity time frame because it's when the summer starts to happen, kids are out of school, people are planning their vacation, uh, you know, they're, they're not thinking about working hard, they're thinking about enjoying life. There's parts of the country where, you know, they only get a few months of summer, the rest of the time they're knee deep in snow, right? That's a little tip of my head to those of you who live in Alberta. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, here in Southern California, it's always beautiful, right? Kind of. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of parts of the country that this people live, you know, for nine months out of the year just to get to the three months of summer. Now, one of the things that happens in network marketing, uh, and this actually applies to lots of things, real estate, the stock market, what ha have you. If you're doing the same things the masses are doing, you probably got it backwards, okay? In real estate, if it's a seller's market, guess what? You should be not selling, you should be buying, all right? When prices, you know, when prices are high, you should be selling. When prices are low, you should be buying. Same thing in the stock market. And I learned this very early on in network marketing. It's during the summer months that I've always focused and concentrated the most, along with the last couple of months of the year, the holidays. Uh, the holidays start kicking in, you know, these days, you know, middle of October, because I guess Halloween's a big, you know, big holiday. Never figured that one out. Uh, but that's another time when people tend to step aside from their business, put it on the back burner. When you work, uh, counter to the masses, that's where the great value exists. And that's why today was so important to me to bring this particular topic up. Uh, if, uh, and I like, you know, I understand we are, you know, in Zija, we worked on four week periods. We're probably about six weeks away from our full integration with Isogenics. Isogenics uses the calendar month as their month. And, and personally, I like that better. It just makes more sense to me. And so not, not you know, don't disregard the fact that in, until we make that full uh, integration, we are still working four weeks is our period, okay? And our week cycles start on Saturday and they end on Friday. So keep all that in mind for your, you know, rank advancements, points, and what have you. However, I love this concept of working on a calendar month because it makes so much more sense to me. Now, we're going to be starting here. We got tomorrow Sunday on the on Monday it is the 1st of June. Let me tell you what will happen to you. If you take the things I'm talking about today and focus on just 90 days. That's all I'm asking you. Focus on 90 days no matter what, okay? If you look at the next 90 days, June, 
July and August. If you focus on that, those will be the times, and it's kind of natural, as independent distributors, and the vast majority of us, like myself, are part-time, okay? Because it's a part-time business and you're the boss, you get to choose whether or not to work. And a lot of people are going to put it on the back burner. They're gonna start backing off their daily routine. You know, the, the, the kids are home from school, um, you know, we got vacations to plan, we're gonna go see grandma, whatever, okay? If you, you know, guess what? In the summer, farmers don't take time off in the summer because they're tending their fields, right? They don't go bowling, as Jim Rohn says, they don't go bowling in the summer because they're busy tending their fields in advance of the fall, which is harvest time. For those of you that heed my words right now, keep in mind, you can do this part-time. It doesn't have to be a, you know, a completely overwhelming process. If you focus on a 90-day game plan in June, that will establish momentum in your business. Come July, continue your 90-day game plan, the one-day game plan times 90. July, or in, in July, you can sustain that momentum, which actually will increase it. And then in August, if you continue the process, 90-day game plan, you will advance your momentum. But more importantly, you will be doing it, number one, at a time when the masses are not focused, but you will create substantial momentum in your business and you will walk into the, the three, probably the second most productive uh, months of the year, September, October, and November. That little trick that I just shared with you, I've always worked the hardest in the summer and then in the fall leading up, you know, in, in October, November, and December, when in, we, as the closer we get to the main holidays, people start to slow down. That's when I've always worked the hardest because it's created incredible momentum walking into the beginning of the year, which is the highly productive parts of a, of a multi-level calendar, and then walking into the beginning of fall, September, October, November, which is probably the second most productive portion of the year. These little tricks is what allowed me, you know, first of all, to retire the first time in network marketing after 10 years. And in Zija, I, I put in three years and was able to basically step back and have it grow all on its own. It's been on automatic pilot now for, geez, eight, nine years. So hopefully that's going to, you know, cause you to want to focus on these activities. Now, this is a real simple process. Look at the next 30 days. Focus on your daily method of operation. One of the, you know, we've talked about that on several occasions over the last 90 days. Daily method of operation. Establish your activities the night before. What if all you want to, you know, talk to one person a day about your product. Talk to one person a day about your opportunity. If you do that for 30 days, here's what's going to happen. And, it's, and, and the numbers are just there you're gonna end up with a few customers and you're gonna end up with a few distributors. Call that your freshman class. Now, once you have that freshman class from the month of June, going to the month of July, here you gotta walk and chew gum at the same time. In the month of July, you're gonna do the same thing you did in June. You're going to talk to one person a day about your product, one person a day about your opportunity, you're going to get a second freshman class, the class of July. But here's the chew gum at the same time part. You have a class from June, your freshman class from June. You have a few customers. You have a few distributors. You know, it may only be two or three or four customers. It may only be two or three distributors. But that's your June freshman class. And now is the time to take them to the next level. Get your June customers solid on the product. Get them reordering. Some of those people are going to be so excited, they're going to want to share it with others. And some of those customers will either give you referrals, which will give you additional customers over and above 
the July class, the new class of July that you're getting, some of them will actually convert to distributors. The distributors that were part of your June freshman class, now's the time to get them advancing. Help them get their first customers, and more importantly, their first two distributors. If that's all you did with the, with the June freshman class in July, you have advanced your momentum. Now, August, okay, you've got a little pace going. You're getting really good at this. Before you go to bed, you plan your day in advance. You've already identified the two people you're gonna talk to. August is an opportunity to get your third freshman class. You're gonna do the same thing you did in June and the same thing you did in July, and you're gonna to talk to one person a day about the product, one person a day about the opportunity. But like in July, you're all gonna be adding in that third component. Help teach somebody to do the same. In August, you're gonna get a brand new freshman class of customers and distributors. You're gonna take your July freshman class and solidify those customers to get their repeat order, get some referrals from them, or maybe convert them to distributors. You're gonna take your, your uh, July freshman class and help those distributors get their first couple of customers and get the, at least their first two distributors. Get it done in the first 30 days so that way they can get the crystal rank advancement. But what's really exciting is your freshman class from June. Your freshman class from June has now spent as much as 60 days with you. Okay, and I'm gonna talk about you know training and keeping it simple. They've spent 60 days with you. You've helped them get their first distributors. Get them engaged in getting the next level, second level distributors. Help their first two get their first two. Help those two or those four get their first two. And when you complete that 90 days with the freshman class of June, you will go into September with a number of distributors that are ready to be essentially independent of you building their own business. They've got a story, they've got a product story, they've got an income story, and they've got a game plan, how to get new distributors in, how to get them trained, how to get them going, and they will. your business will start to take on a life of its own when you've got a handful of team members that are essentially working independent of you building their team. And as you go into September, you're solidifying your July uh, freshman class at the same level. And as you get into October, your August freshman class has started to become independent of you. Now, what happens when you get through that first 90 days? The next 90 days, September, October, and for a good portion of November, good halfway through November, November those represent some of the most productive days in the network marketing calendar. And while most people will get to the end of summer and say, okay, well, we're gonna ramp things back up, you're gonna walk into September with full blown momentum in your business. And that last quarter of the year can be incredibly powerful in terms of the financial return for you. There isn't that much to this, okay? It is a simple process, but it requires focus. That's why we take, you know, a 365 day year, which is very difficult to focus for that period of time, break it down into quarters, 90 day game plans, and then break those 90 day game plans down into 30 day game plans with a complete awareness that the game plan is a one, day game plan times 90, one day game plan times 365. And folks, if it, it, this is just a little technique for maximizing your effort, because I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'd much rather work easy than hard, okay? And we're all gonna have to work hard anyway. So I'm gonna put in the hard work in a time frame that's gonna give me the biggest bang for my buck. The next 90 days, Monday, June 1, mark my words, 
the next 90 days will be the most important 90 days in your business. Halfway through that time frame, we'll have our full integration into, uh, into Isengenics. For those of you that take the next 90 days, and, and you just got to do it, okay? Just rest assured that if you're willing to commit that two hours a day to your business, maybe it's 90 minutes, maybe it's three hours, whatever it is, take those two hours a day, you know, turn off the boob tube, you know, stop listening to, you know, you, you, you know the definition of television, right? It's chewing gum for the brain. Get your brain rolling, but it does not do a single thing for you. Take those two hours, give it the 90 days, monitor your numbers, follow the system, and at the end of those 90 days, you will have sufficient momentum established in your business that if you do it one more time, okay, continue that process, do another 90 day game plan starting September 1, that'll carry you through the holidays and you will walk into the beginning of 2021 with incredible momentum in your business. This strategy is what allowed me to go from zero to an income in 36 months to put me in the top 1% of earners in the country, that's with Zija, top 1% of all income earners in the country, and within the following 24 months, made more money, almost double what I made in the first 36 months. But that was done in automatic pilot. I didn't have to do anything. The income almost doubled in the following two years, what took three years to accomplish. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Uh, it may not have been as clear as, as it is in my head. And, and that's just because a lot of times what's in my head doesn't always come out of my brain so well. So I'm gonna entertain some questions. If you got a question, you want me to kind of, uh, you know, elucidate on a topic or something like that, throw it in the chat box. Um, well, thank you, Isaac, I appreciate that. Isaac said it's a, a great concept analysis. Okay, well, I, I like that. And, and folks, I'm, I'm not looking for you to tell me, oh, wow, that was great, Fred. I've never heard that before. Uh, what I am looking for is any way that I can clarify or help you. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that's really important, and you need to go back to some of the trainings we've had in the last 90 days, uh, specifically, how to get your new distributor off to a good start. You want to keep all these things automated. Duplication is your key to success. When you get a brand new person in, and I'm not saying use my system, I'm saying use a system. Okay. When I get a brand new distributor in, you know, get them in, get them trained. That's the next step. Okay. Get them trained, real simple. I send them to my YouTube channel to watch the four new distributor training videos. Okay. You can find that on my YouTube channel uh, on the playlist. Go to youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes. Zija and click on the playlist and you'll see four videos. Okay, the four videos does two things. First of all, it firmly grounds them in the specific things they need to know to get off to a good start. Secondly, it keeps them engaged until that first order comes in. Okay, because there's gonna be a little time lag between the time new distributor says, Yes, I'm in. Let me get that basic pack, let me get that, you know, value pack, whatever it is. It's gonna take a couple days for the product to get to them keeps them engaged in the system, okay? Um, what every new distributor needs to know. How do we share the product? How do we share the opportunity? How do we teach others to do the same? Um, new distributor checklists, great way to make sure that your new distributors are plugged in, that they've got the information. You know, do they know how to log into their back office? Do they know how to you know, uh, uh, enroll a customer, enroll a distributor, monitor their own product orders, their auto ship. Um, are they plugged into their upline diamonds? Okay, I've got, you know, my YouTube channel, I've got a team email list, uh, you know, I do some posting on Facebook. Uh, you know, that should, you know, for, for each new distributor that I bring in, I am gonna personally make sure that they get enrolled on my email list. I'm gonna make sure that they get subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna make sure that they have friended me on Facebook. Why am I doing that? So they're plugged in, 
Okay, so the communication I'm pushing to the field that they are getting part of that. Now, duplication is the key to success. It's also inevitable. Whatever you do with your new distributor is going to be duplicated by them with their people because they think that's how we do it. That's why I want to keep things pretty simple. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, three things to get a new distributor plugged in. My email list, my YouTube channel, my Facebook profile. Okay. I don't care whether they follow me on Twitter or Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever, because I don't even use those platforms. I'm there, you know, but I don't, I don't do anything on them. Okay. I'm going to keep it simple. Now, here's what I know. My new distributor, if they start somebody new and they do the same thing I did, here's what I know. Their new distributor is going to hear my new distributor training, the 30 minute training the foundation of everything I've learned and done in network marketing. They're going to hear the other three little videos, how to create a prospect list, uh, how to develop your story, the concepts of a 90 day game plan. Okay. They're going to have the, they're going to have the very best foundation that they could possibly have. But more importantly, it was being taught by a brand new distributor. How was it being taught by a brand new distributor? They did what I told them to do. Go to YouTube, watch those videos. Having a system like that, that is independent of the new distributors, uh, you know, personal knowledge, success, eloquence and training and what have you, using tools that can be duplicated by anybody. So those are critical ingredients to keeping this whole ebb and flow. That's why I did those videos, okay? Because I didn't have the time to teach those concepts to every single new person that I was bringing in and that my team members were bringing in on the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, 10th, 100th, 200th level. So I could have tools that could turn a brand new distributor into a master trainer with the knowledge of a million dollar earner because it was all recorded in there. Oh, uh, what else do I wanna share with you here? Uh, I'm going to give you one last opportunity. If there's any questions, uh, please feel free to help me out uh, or let me, let me help if I can. Uh, this upcoming week, I'm going to have a, a, a number of events happening. Uh, if you're not involved on my email list, I encourage you to do so. It's not my team email list. It's for anybody. Okay. I'm going to guess there's probably 30, 40% of the people that are the part of that email list aren't necessarily in my payload. And so I welcome you to, to participate in that. Um, go to my, my personal website, it's fredholmes.com, www.fredholmes.com. Uh, right there at the top of the page, you'll, you'll see a link that says contact me, click on contact me and you'll see a place where you can submit your name and your email address and be on that email list. And you're welcome to be on that. Uh, I encourage you to go to my YouTube channel. Okay, again, uh, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes EJ. Uh, and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll, you know, you'll get instant notification whenever there's a new uh, uh, posting done. And spend some time there. There's, a, there's geez, there's, well, I think, probably a year and a half worth of um, uh, 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 Thursday night business presentations. You're going to see people from all walks of life, different backgrounds, different ages, different motivations. We've been able to get involved with this and working from home, start creating a residual income. In some cases, there are multi, multi-million dollar earners that are part of that guests on that show. And so all of those are archived there on that YouTube channel as well. And uh, for those of you that aren't uh, with me on uh, Facebook, go to Facebook, look for, uh, you know, it's I'm at Fred W. Holmes, Fred W. Holmes. Uh, the W uh, is my middle name. Uh, it's short for wealthy. No, middle name is West. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I, well, I know I found out how I, my, I was the first Holmes born on the West Coast. So that's why I got West as a middle name, but I'll go with wealthy. So um, looks like uh, we've exhausted any questions. Folks, I, I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, I hope you don't take the simplicity of it for granted. Every single top earner in the profession will tell you that this is critical 
to, to establishing momentum, sustaining it, and advancing it. When you do this, okay, and it is a higher level understanding, if you will, of our business, but if you do this, every single, you know, David Moses, Pat Anderson, myself, Reed now every single top earner in the company will tell you this has been critical to them, not just building huge organizations, but getting them to a point in time where they have, you know, high level residual income, yet still have the time to be able to start a brand new person, their journey in this, uh, you know, incredible profession. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, goodbye and, and good afternoon. Have a lovely rest of your weekend, folks. Uh, I'm going to do so, and I hope you do too. Stay safe. Um, for those of you that are social distancing, social distance. For those of you that aren't, hug and kiss, okay? Covering all the bases. All right. Thanks for joining me, folks. Have a great rest of your day. This will be posted to the YouTube channel uh, just a little bit later in the afternoon. Take care. Thanks for joining me.